Mm, good morning, good morning. Welcome back to a new video. I am in New York, which I'm so happy about. I'm also trying to wake up, by the way. Little sleepy head. Um, I'm staying here with friends in like such an amazing location. I'm here on the west side, so the view is, I mean, it's a little cloudy today, honestly, but here's like the Hudson River. It's really, really pretty. I'm going to a store opening this morning in Soho. And there's a really big store called Mini So, kind of like a concept store with like beauty, with like food and beverage products, with like cute gifts or things for the home. And I'm pretty excited about that. It's gonna be like an opening event. We're gonna like cut a ribbon and do all of that. I'm going to get ready in a little bit, put an outfit on. Um, I'm actually going to get my hair blow dried or like a little blowout. Wow, <laughs> I can't talk. It's too early. I think it's the jet lag actually. I'm three hours behind, so it's like 4.30 in LA, so I guess that's it. Anyway, I made my morning marcha. I'm going to wake up, get ready, and get my hair done and get ready for today. I'll take you guys. What? Yum. Okay, I am going to do my makeup quickly i wish i had one of those hair bands i have one at home but i totally forgot to bring it it's one of those things you can actually find at miniso so that's what i'm going to be on the hunt for for today's makeup look i'm going to do a um, very natural and then maybe with like a little bit of a red lip is my makeup look of today. I actually might go a little shade um, lighter with my lips. I feel it's a little bit on the dark side, but I'm just going to put my outfit on for today and then we're gonna head out. This is the look of today. This very chic, like, hand suit. And then on top of it, I am going to wear this coat, which is hopefully going to keep me a little warm today. So yeah. I'm going to get my hair done. I always really love to get my hair done. If I had to choose between having a really good makeup look or having a really good hair day, I would choose for the hair day. That just can give you like a lot of confidence in that sense. I don't know if any of you have ever experienced that. And then I'm going to wear this little Bottega bag, which I've been wearing a lot. Let's go. my blowout done i'm getting a little extra blowout here because the wind is pretty strong it's also really cold i'm going to grab a quick coffee now and then i'm going to head over to broadway where the mini so flagship store opening will be i think they're like launching or introducing the plushies here which are these like super cute little stuffed animals so i'm excited to see it and i should have worn something warmer <laughs> One cold brew and one oatmeal cappuccino,
We just walked into the store and as you can see, everything is so cute, like so kawaii. There is a really long line outside of people who want to get in. Let's do it. Our grand opening, please put your hands together, get excited. It's time to cut the ribbon and open the store. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Okay, so I'm in doubt. Either this one or I'm going to get this one. I think they're both really cute. So I've been literally looking for this thing for a very long time. So. Okay, I just found one of these like claw machines. This is what I used to do on, like once a year. It would be in my hometown. It was always so much fun and I literally would never be able to get one. So today I'm gonna take the challenge. Okay, I just got back in the apartment and obviously changed and I got all these really cute little <laughs> Plush puppies. I'm going to take this in a plane. I'm definitely gonna sleep well. I really like this one. The little cat. It's so cute. And I also wanted to show you some other things that I got. I find a couple things for the kitchen which I absolutely love. I was looking for this for a while. It is a plastic like storage box. It has like a what do you call this? Like a drainer in there? Drainage basket. So whenever you have berries or fruit or veggies and you like rinse it off, you can immediately store it, which I really love. And then I got this little expandable food container. So whenever I'm traveling, I really like to bring this because it's a much more sustainable option than bringing like plastic and then just throwing it out. And let me show you what else I got. Um, got some flip flops. I got makeup sponges, always very useful. Got some clips for the office. Facial sponge mist, it's easy to like clean your face. I really like these little clamps. So whenever you have a bag of chips or something and you don't eat everything, you can put it in here. And my favorite pokey sticks. So yeah, this is um, what I got. And then obviously the little plushies. That was a lot of fun this morning. <laughs> I love how like my job is so diverse every single day. My agent stopped by and came by to take a look. Also, I feel I'm getting better and better in doing my own makeup. I was thinking to maybe record a video um, with like my everyday makeup routine. But yeah, um, I'm like really starving. Honestly, it's really nice. I came alone to New York. I extended my trip an extra day. You know, last time I was here, we were just with so many people and like celebrating and all of that. And it's just like really nice to have some alone time, I feel like. I always feel like I can kind of 
think a little bit more i don't know i feel everyone just kind of needs that and i just like love walking through new york and kind of you know experiencing the city and stuff so i think today i'm just gonna walk around have a tea um have some lunch maybe just enjoy being at home a little bit just kind of taking it easy and tonight i'm going to have dinner with my girlfriends which is gonna be really fun so yeah um that's what we're going to do today got ready i put a really big scarf on and i kind of warmed up a little bit i am going to grab some lunch now and i actually need to i need to drop off a package so i'm gonna go to the post office i also want to get some new headphones today so i might walk over to soho and go buy them so yeah that's the plan of today God, I'm literally walking with my mask outside because it keeps me warm. I'm on the way back. I had some lunch. Wherever there's kombucha squash on the menu, I order it because it's literally one of my favorite ingredients. So kombucha squash salad. Kombucha squash salad is literally my favorite thing in the winter. It sounds weird, but I walked now through the West Village home and look where I am. It's my old West Village apartment, and this is the exact spot where. Max proposed to me right here. It was always very like sentimental to like pass by the street, but obviously now even more. I'm actually gonna take a photo and send it to him. Oh, and it's actually funny because do you see this? The little arch? It is engraved in my ring as well as like a memory. Oh my god, my hands are so dry. <laughs> I'm gonna go home and warm up again a little. I went to the app store and I got headphones so I can check that off of my to-do list of today. So I just got ready. I'm going to meet Iris and Daphne for dinner today, which I'm so excited about. We're just gonna do like a little girls night. We are gonna go to catch steak. So yeah, I'm curious how it's gonna be. I used to go to catch all the time when I was living in New York and I've actually never been to catch steak location. So Daphne lives like really close by. So I'm gonna walk over in the cold. Okay, let's do this. Yeah. Um. Yesterday we uh, I had a really fun like girls night dinner We went to catch steak and to some like other places. I just got a special delivery You know with Nekohama, we're always like looking for fun collaborations and obviously we you know We love the food space. We love creating so as you guys know Max is literally obsessed with croissants and pain de chocolat. I feel like every day in LA he tries to get one and whenever we travel like that's on the schedule every single day, finding the best croissant. We have been in touch here with L'Apartment 4F, which is an amazing, um, it's an amazing couple. They are baking out of their Brooklyn apartment since the pandemic and have been so popular. I've tried their croissants already like way back and I was absolutely obsessed with it. So we were thinking, what if we do a matcha chocolate pan de chocolat? Well, Gauthier, the, the baker, just dropped this off and I'm just gonna show you. It looks insane. It looks insane. Look how gorgeous. I had a little bite of it, but this is like the chocolate croissant with like matcha chocolate in it. 
And then these are the almond croissants and they are so good. I'm going to do a little taste test again, you know, take it for the team. Mm. It's so good. I was actually a little nervous because you never know when you mix kind of things how it's going to taste because you know some things like work and some things like really don't often when you mix matcha with like coconut the coconut really overpowers so i wasn't really sure how this was going to work out but this is absolutely delicious i can't stop eating it mm. i have this whole bunch for myself today <laughs> this is what i love to do the most right i love creating i love creating recipes i love creating videos i love creating dinner nights i love creating new food products i love like taking photos and things like that and i feel it's all like kind of coming together i feel for a very long period of time i was always like searching of like you know what i really wanted to do especially when i was like full-time modeling and i was like okay i don't know like you know like what else and what next and i've tried all sorts of things i feel like and i feel like now everything is coming so together in that sense and also for max i feel in the same way Mm, I'm so excited. Well, I'll keep you guys posted on this. I think first round is like already good, but I'll keep you guys posted. Mm. Anyway, um, I'm going to get ready and um, yeah, I'm gonna have a fun day in New York. It is chilly today. I don't know how often I'm actually saying this in this vlog, but I am um, here on 44th Street going to the jewelry maker who made my engagement ring to resize it a little. It fits, but it's a little bit too big. <laughs> my hands are turning blue. Um, so they're gonna measure my uh, ring size again and I think they're gonna take it for like two weeks but then at least after it's going to fit so that's what we're doing now that was another reason why I wanted to extend my trip a little in New York 